Hello everybody, welcome to the 5th round of the 2023 Virtual F2 World Championship, the first Virtual F2 series that of many possibly uh, later on in this series, we will see. But, for now, we are here at Imola and we are looking forward to some excitement this weekend. We have got an exciting sprint race to come up. And there's rain coming as well, so this could be a pretty hectic race, this one. But before we get into this race, let's run you through the starting grid. It's our current championship leader, Teo Porcher, starting on pole. He's got a job to do today, and he's got Arthur Leclerc starting next to him on the front row. These two were fighting for the victory in both races last time out in Baku. Let's hope they can repeat that today. Ayumu Iwasa is starting third in the Red Bull livery Dams, and then comes the Alpine livery ART of Victor Martins in fourth. Avery Cordiel is fifth in the Invicta Virtuosi, and he's got Zane Maloney, who needs points to stay in the fight for the championship, but he starts sixth. Enzo Fittipaldi is seventh in the other uh, road in Carlin, and ahead of, uh, behind him is Jack Doohan, who starts eighth in the Invicta Virtuosi. It's the two PHM side by side with Brad Benavidez out qualifying his teammate Roy Nazani. Oliver Behrman outside of the top 10, in, uh, only for him in the Bremer. He will start 11th today with J.N. de Rubler starting in 12th. Frederick Bestie is 13th in the other Bremer. He's got Dennis Hauger who starts 14th in the uh, MP car. It's Ralph Boschong ahead of uh, uh, Roman Stanek. 15th and 16th for those two. Behind them, Kushmini and uh, Clement Novelak in the other Campos and Trident. Next are the two Van Aer Sports. Richard Fashore uh, qualifying his teammate Juan Manuel Correa. He will start 20th behind his teammate in 19th. And then at the back is the two high tech Pulse 8 cars of Isaac Hadjar and uh, American driver Jack Crawford. So that is the starting grid for both races. But let's start with this race. Time to go racing for a sprint at the Emilia Romagna. Here we go then. We're racing in the Emilia Romagna. And it's go. Good getaway for Teo Porcher. Also from the Euro Rasa from third. He's challenging his teammate over the glare down towards Tamborello. But it's Porcher in the lead ahead of a Rasa who's still ahead of the glare. Cordillo's up as a fourth already, and it's ahead of Philip Pauli, who's up to fifth. Martins is down to six already. Benavidez is up to seventh already. Well, worse until Maloney fell back at him, but it's a great start for Teo Porcher, who leads from Awasa and Leclerc. The two dabs already putting pressure on Porcher. They look to be a team that could also fight for the championship later on this season because they've got the pace to do so. So we could see three teams fight for the titles by the end of. Uh, by the time we get to Abu Dhabi but it's a great start for Portier and the two Dams cars they're currently the top three at the moment on this first lap of 25 in this sprint at Imola as they come out of Ravazza we've got a whole train of cars fighting for the final point Benavidez is hanging on to it at the moment but Jack Doohan has got the DRS to try to get past that PHM car on board with the LP the Canada driver can he get past Brad Benavides coming out of Tabarello, they're side by side. Jack Doohan looking along outside, Benavides trying to fight back, but Jack Doohan gets past Brad Benavides and he's put his Invicta Virtuosity back up into 8th place. Lovely stuff from, J uh, lovely stuff from Jack Doohan, he's through on the American Rookie. There's the man currently in 8th place, Jack Doohan. Yeah, he's having a good race so far. Currently finding himself out of Brad Benavides. Oh, he's slow, Doohan is slow. He's going slow. Engine coming out 
and the smoke coming out, I should say, at the back of his Victor Virtuosi engine. And Jack Doohan, who was running in the points, is out. He is the first retiree in this sprint race here at Imola, and that's a huge shame for Jack Doohan. <whistles> Mate, I've just lost power absolutely nowhere. What the boob is that? Alla Rabat's to recall now, and this is Nassani under pressure from Behrman on board with the Brits in the Kramer. The British rookie looking to make a move on his way to a forced onto the grass there was Ollie Behrman, but he's absolutely risked it, risked it, and he's got through on the Israeli. And what an unbelievable and risky overtake that was from Ollie Behrman. Here we go with our first pit stop, and it's Teo Porcher. Ted, let's head down to you, he's down at ART. Porcher's got a big lead, so he should be able to get out back in the lead when the others come in. But let's hope this is a good stop. Port go, got one set of ultra soft, super soft tyres, and on go another, and it's a good stop. Really lovely stop for Porcher. He is away, and hoping to keep himself in that lead. Leclerc's in two. Yep, Leclerc is in as well, Ted, let's see his stop. Let's see then from Arthur Leclerc, he's hoping to not get held up by any kind of traffic and that's sweet. Lovely, lovely stop for Arthur Leclerc. He has got away and he is hoping to see what he can do in his fight with his teammate later on in this race. We will see. Here we go then, Ayumu Awasa is in and Anne-Marie Cordial and I believe Victor Martins will come in as well. Everyone's going to be coming in now, Zed. Yeah, this is going to be really crucial with all these teams here fighting... Uh, for some positions, they're in the pits now. Awasa hopefully to make a good stop. Let's see what this uh, stop is like for Awasa. And uh, is it a good stop? Yes, it's lovely. He's got away lovely. Is he going to get out ahead of Leclerc though? Uh, would he get out ahead of Porcher possibly? No, Porcher's just gone through to edge. Oh uh, yeah, but that's right. But he could still get out ahead of his teammate. It's going to be close, let's see. Well, it is going to be close. Awasa is coming out of the pits now. There's Leclerc. Awasa's coming out. This is going to be really close between the two teammates. Oh, Leclerc has got through. Are you Awasa? The jump has been made. Leclerc has got ahead of Awasa. And the two dabs are swap places. They're not ahead of Paul Shea. They're way behind him. But the fight for second has switched. And it's Leclerc now ahead of Awasa. On board with a human Awasa. Down the main straight we go. Has he got the switch to with the DRS power to get past his rookie teammate? Here we go with Awasa. He wants to cut up the girl can finish. He's going right around the outside of Arthur Leclerc. Can he get ahead of Arthur Leclerc? Yes, he can. Oh, lovely from a human Awasa. He gets through ahead of Arthur Leclerc. And Avery Cordial and over that has got past Enzo Fittipaldi as well for fourth place. But Awasa is up to second. That is lovely from the Japanese driver. Here's Enzo Fittipaldi, who got his first podium in real life virtual F2 at this track last year. But this time he is waiting in a better team. And look at the oh, another virtual F2 podium if he can find the pace. He's going to the outside of Alan Cordial as Enzo Fittipaldi. They almost touched, but Fittipaldi has swooped his road and car in ahead of the Victor Virtuosi and the Brazilian is up into fourth place. Lovely move from Enzo Vidipaldi. Here we go again for round three. Cordial against Vidipaldi and look at the switch that the Belgian driver is picking up. Round the outside goes out on Cordial into Tabarello. Vidipaldi is trying to fight back and once again they get close to contact and this time Cordial is back ahead and he's taken fourth place. Oh, we got a car slow. It looks to be a Red Bull livery car, and it's a high-tech Porsche, and it's number 10, Isaac Hadjar, going very slowly in his high-tech Porsche, and Isaac Hadjar is going slowly, and look, it's raining! It's starting to rain! Oh my goodness me, late drama here in Virtual Ed 2, as we see Hadjar pull over, the rain though is starting to fall. <whistles> I've lost power! This is going to be really, really crucial now. The rain is arriving, the track is getting a bit greasier. Well, Cher is still leading though, and the... Oh, he's coming in! Poor Cher is coming in! Unbelievable! Is he going to gamble, Ted? What tyres is he going to put on? It's four wets! He's putting on the wets! Poor Cher is making an outstanding gamble! But is he 
going to have enough time to catch these rivals? Is it wet enough? We shall see. It's a good stop before Jenna, but is the track wet enough? We'll see, so because the roster is now in the lead, it's a damn zone too. Wow, what an unbelievable twist in this race. I don't know what's going to happen, but Porcher is on wet tyres. What's going to happen by the time we get uh, to the closing stages? Well, the drivers have stayed out on six. Porcher is coming out of the pits now. Will he get out ahead of Ralph Bushon? And it goes, no, he won't. But Porcher is on wet tyres. What's he going to do? I'll board with him, and he looks to go back traction out of the first few corners of Tabarello. Bushon goes a little bit wide. And here comes Porsche to have the inside line of the Villeneuve chicane. Bossong tries to fight back, but Porsche has swooped past Ralph Bossong. And on, is the track ready for wet tyres? Is it wet enough for Porsche to gain on his rivals? It might be tricky, but you never know what will happen. Teo Portier has pitted at the wrong time. He should have stayed out, but his team wanted him to pit to see what he could do. But this man has dominated this race. An unexpected win about to be rewarded. A Yuma Awasa wins for the first time this season. He is back in business. Off on a clear second to make it a damn one too. Harry Cordial finishes third. He's back on the podium. Well done to him. But my oh my, Ayuma Iwasa, victorious, he is back on top. Awesome job mate, you've done it. Yahoo! Let's go! Well done to Ayuma Iwasa, his first win of the season. And Arthur Leclerc finishing second to make it. A Dan's 1-2, an outstanding result for that team. And this could be crucial in the team's championship, because they could find themselves close to the top. We will see. Avery Cordial is third with his third podium of the season. His fourth in virtual F2. Ahead of Enzo Fittipaldi and Zane Maloney, fourth and fifth. Good recovery for the two Rodin Collins. Not big points, but decent enough. Martins, Nissani and Zerubala finish the, uh, the top eight. And poor Cher does get a point because he scored the fastest lap of the race. Even though he didn't finish in the top eight, he still finished in the top ten to score at least one point. And here's the championship standings now. The gap's gone down to eight points between Porsche and Pittipaldi. So the lead could change tomorrow, but you never know what will happen. But we will find out soon enough. And the Yuma Awasa, after that win, is up to six in the standings, while his teammate Arthur Leclerc is three places ahead of him. Then Leclerc could still be in title contention later on this season. We will find out. And Rodin Carlin and ART, 18 points between them. But watch out for Dams and Virtuosi. They could possibly be in the fight. We will find out. But that is enough for now in this sprint race here in Imola. But we will have another one tomorrow. Hope you can join us for the feature race here at Imola when FIA Virtual Formula 2 returns.